The robots had to learn how to walk, run, turn, kick, and eventually try to win a one-on-one -on -one soccer match step by step, using a technique called deep reinforcement learning. That basically means just as humans learn by making mistakes and, and gradually improving, deep reinforcement learning also learns effectively by trial and error. And just like humans, the simulated robots were motivated by a reward in the form of a digital score. And gradually over time, they'll learn to kind of reinforce behaviors that are useful. The robots then hone their soccer skills by playing one-on-one -on -one matches against copies of themselves. They're always playing against some kind of previous version of itself. So what that means is that the opponents that you play against also learn and improve. And that kind of self-play enables the agents to always be kind of challenged at the right level. To aid their decision-making even further, the AI was provided with a critic, a program that gave it guidance after each of its actions. It tries to estimate the likelihood of the agent being able to score. It is a coach that gives an immediate feedback. But before the robots could step out onto a real soccer pitch, the team had to give them one more hard lesson. We wanted to make sure that the robots are able to perform when the world's not quite as expected. And we do that adding some random noise perturbations to the simulation that they're trained in so that they get used to things happening in the real world that they don't necessarily anticipate. We also add delays to mimic the delays in actuation that you get on a real robot. Now prepared for the chaos of the real world, the team transferred the trained AI into the robot's onboard computer. And it works surprisingly well. They look like real humans of that size actually playing soccer. 